morning guys in this video i didn't do much of an introduction i just jumped straight into recording but today we are doing a morning routine and i start off by just icing my face basically what this does is gets rid of the eye bags um it increases blood flow in your face and for older people or people with widened pores it shrinks your pores and i do this until my face starts to turn red or i feel like i'm getting too cold Alright guys, now that I've iced my face, I'm moving on to washing my face and I use CeraVe. This is the oily skin one. They have different ones, but my skin is oily, so I'm using this one. And for, make sure you wash your hands before you touch your face. Always make sure you wash your hands. And I just put it in my hands and I lather it around and yeah, it's self-explanatory. Okay guys, moving on from washing my face, I am applying my toner, which is witch hazel. And toner is the first step of reintroducing moisture back in your face. So this step is very important, especially for dry skin. I'm that nigga shit. I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gonna sleep for shit. Yeah. If I catch you not enough, then it's gonna be some shit. Well, you can do what you wanna, live how you wanna, spend what you wanna, be who you wanna be. Well, I'm till I die. So directly after applying your toner, you want to put your moisturizer. I just use cocoa butter because it's simple, but it works wonders for my skin and it makes my skin very smooth and soft. Plus, it smells like chocolate. Before I go, would you tell the world my secrets if I let you close? You're my baby. Send the text, These days, oh my, yeah. It'll be best then. Then it is a mix, though. This shit might drive you mad. Alright guys, now that I have my face moisturized, I have this tool called a gua sha, and it's for facial lifting, and I don't do this every day, I'm just doing this for the sake of the video, but it's kind of like a massage tool for me, um, so what I'm doing is I'm putting my jaw bone in between that little crease right there, and for my cheekbone, I put it on the other crease, just to look at what I'm doing. Too sexy for this chain, too sexy for your game, too sexy. 
sexy for this fame, yeah, yeah. I'm too sexy for the trap, too sexy for that cap, too sexy for that jack, yeah, yeah. Okay, alright, that's fine. Okay, okay. I'm feeling too sexy to accept requests. Now I'm moving on to my brows, and what I do is first I kind of left them out. I don't know what this is called for feather them out. Like I said, I don't know what this is called, but then I take my brow pencil and I go under my eyebrow and basically, like, I basically outline it and then I go in and fill it in and then I take my brow brush and just blend it in. Well, tell me what you like about them. You a turned a little thotty, ain't no wife about it. I'm gonna fuck a friends and send them back to Metro housing. Yeah. For this sir, too sexy for your girl, too sexy for this world, too sexy for the life, too sexy for that jack, yeah, yeah. I'm too sexy for this chain, too sexy for your game, too sexy for this fame, yeah, yeah. I'm too sexy for the trap, too sexy for that cap, too sexy for that jack. So I tried something new and tried to put on some eyeliner and it didn't go something very well. You'll you see later me, that I took some mascara and I released it from my face. But I did. I, feel I did in fact do it right and I left it on. But Take you still can see your energy. my big lashes. But just watch. I you see you boy. boy. Oh, I need you boy. guys i know it does look a little bit stupid but this is the best i could get it and yes i'm gonna move the little excess at the bottom but now i'm just putting on my mascara so my lashes will blend in with my full lashes and i will show you guys when i put my lashes on guys i have my lash and i have my glue and you want to apply just enough not too much but just enough lash glue and then you take your tweezers or you can just use your fingers and swing the lash in the air for 40 seconds for it to dry then if you have tweezers apply it right on your lash line right on it it'll be way easier with tweezers but if you don't have tweezers get it as close as you can i did not show this while i was applying it because i had to look in the mirror but you will see how it looks i did wind up taking the lash off and reapplying it but i'm just gonna do my other lash and come back all right guys um I know I look a bit weird. It's these lashes, y'all. I don't know if I'm gonna keep these on because they look funny. But thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button to get notified every time I upload. And um, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this video.